The intent of this video is to discuss five surprising facts of the B-29 Superfortress's operations in World War II. Fact 1. The B-29's aerodynamic drag equated to the much smaller B-17. This image represents the B-29 and B-17 in side-by-side -side flight. The basis of the premise is documented in this Boeing 1944 report. B-29s weighed twice as much as the B-17s and outperformed the B-17s in virtually all significant combat categories. This image represents a planform view and stats of the B-17, B-29, and B-24 bombers. B-17s were designed for ease of manufacture, less aerodynamic design considerations. The B-17's fuselage skin panels were connected as lap joints where the forward skin was draped over the aft skin. This created an out-of-wind aerodynamic step. The skin panels were joined with a single or dual row of protruding head rivets. Both these fabrication methods increase the excrescence drag of the B-17's air wetted surface. The B-29s were fabricated adopting clean aerodynamic considerations. B-29 skin panels were connected with butt splices. No aerodynamic steps in the skin joints. B-29 skin panels were also joined with flush head countersink rivets. These manufacturing considerations, along with other features, helped to reduce the B-29's overall drag. Fact number two. The B-29's World War II kill ratio exceeded the P-51 Mustang's World War II kill ratio. During World War II, the Imperial Japanese Army and Navy were credited with shooting down 83 B-29s in air-to-air -air combat. Ten of the 83 bombers were destroyed by ramming. This chart outlines the tabular data of B-29 combat losses in World War II for both the 20th and 21st Bomber Commands. The columns EA are the bomber losses due to enemy aircraft. The sum of B-29 losses due to air-to-air -air combat equates to 83. This value includes half of the bombers destroyed by the enemy aircraft and ground fire column. The B-29 gunners, on the other hand, were credited with shooting down 969 Japanese interceptors. The basis for this data is within the reference shown. The Japanese fighters destroyed claim column tabular data is shown here for reference. All of the B-29 gun turrets house cameras for kill verification. The B-29s ended World War II with an air-to-air 11.7 kill ratio, while the P-51 Mustangs ended World War II with an 11 to 1 air-to-air -air kill ratio. Fact number three. The level of damage inflicted by the B-29 city firebomb raids was 29 times the level of damage of the atomic bomb raids combined. This chart tallies the damage of the firebomb raids and the atomic bomb raids. 163.5 square miles, or 42% of Japan's urban core, was destroyed by the B-29 incendiary raids. Both atomic bombs destroyed 5.6 square miles, or 1.4% of Japan's urban core. The intent of the firebombing campaign was to destroy Japan's cities with napalm. Bomber Command assumed Japan's small feeder shops were embedded in residential areas. This was a justification for city urban areas as fair targets. Enclosed is a declassified June 1945 document outlining B-29's bombing progress for the month of May 1945. The report states progressive erasure of Japan's chief cities continued during May. The focus on the progress report highlighted the erasure of Japanese cities with napalm. Fact number four. The damage inflicted by the atomic bomb over Hiroshima could have been accomplished by bombing with only 210 fully loaded B-29s using conventional bombs. In 1947, the United States Strategic Bombing Survey published a 54-page document outlining the effects of the atomic bombs. Page 33 of the document provides equivalent conventional bomb load needed to match the damage and casualties induced by the atomic bomb dropped over Hiroshima. The report indicates it would take only 210 fully loaded B-29s dropping a mixed load to match the bomb effects of the Hiroshima ap atomic bomb damage. The report did not take into account the long-range radiation effects, though. The mix included 
1,200 tons of incendiary bombs carried by 120 planes, 400 tons of high explosive bombs carried by 40 planes, and 500 tons of fragmentation cluster bombs carried by 50 planes. At the end of hostilities, there were 974 B-29s available for combat. Fact number five, the B-29's crew compartments were pressurized. This chart shows the bomber's crew compartments which were pressurized. The forward and aft crew compartments were traversed by a 35 foot long communications tunnel. Since the tunnel was only 34 inches in diameter, crew members would need to crawl on their bellies while traversing the tunnel. Like most commercial airliners, the cabin altitude was set to 8,000 feet up to an airplane altitude of 30,000 feet. Cabin pressure is supplied by engine number two and engine number three inboard turbochargers. For safety, the cabin was depressurized if hostile action is anticipated. You don't want a pressure vessel rupture at altitude while pressurized. Crew members would don oxygen masks while the airplane was depressurized. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider commenting, liking, or subscribing to the channel, World War II U.S. Bombers.